All right, what I'm going to do right now is do a brief derivation of the max height formula of a projectile. And we're going to start out here just with the situation of what we have. Let's say that we have a projectile launching. Let's say it's a 45 degree angle. In other words, the x and the y components in this case both take up two squares. And it's going to move up and at some point it's going to launch and it's going to reach a max height at some point where all of the velocity is in the x direction. So how do we find out what that max height is uh, given just the initial uh, launch speed and theta? Well the first thing we want to do is draw our components again. We have the x, we have the y, they're equal and so we have v initial y equals v sine theta and then we have v initial x equals v cosine theta. Okay, Standard operating procedure here, nothing really too amazing going on. Uh, our final condition up here for max height, we know that um, at this point the final speed is simply just the x component. There's no y component there in the velocity so the v final y equals zero. So let's determine um, what equation will be best for solving this. Well I'm given v and theta and I want to find the max height. In other words I want to find out what is the delta y at that point of max height. And um, we don't have any times to deal with, we just, we just know that the final y speed is zero at the top. So we know, we looked at our kinematics equations, and the fourth equation that we, we always talk about is this one, which is uh, v final squared y equals v initial squared y plus 2ay delta y. And in this case, we're going to leave acceleration in terms of a of y. I'm going to I'm going to discuss using the the term g at the end because uh, it will just change the sign of our final answer. Um, so we know that in this case, the final y velocity is zero, and we know that the v initial y is simply v initial in this case sine theta. So if I just go ahead and substitute in some of these numbers, I have zero equals v initial sine theta squared plus 2 a y delta y and excel in other words acceleration in the y times delta y and I want to solve for delta y that's going to be my max height and when I I distribute this squared property through to the uh, sine and the v initial and then I subtract that over I'm going to get negative v o squared sine theta squared and then I just divide it by 2ay and I'm going to get this equation here. Now you may see this written a little bit differently sometimes. They may write it uh, like this. You may see this in textbooks written as this. And so you may see it written as h equals vo squared sine theta squared over 2g. And that's just recognizing that acceleration in the y is negative g. g is just a number it's a it's a constant um, which is assuming that if you're close to the Earth's surface that g, uh, the the acceleration or the field the gravitational field is the strength of that the magnitude is 9.8 meters per second squared but it really depends on the direction which you define your axis I mean if you define your axis is down g will be positive if you define it up it, it will be negative um, so and when we get into forces uh, we're gonna see that it completely depends upon the direction that you define your positive y-axis. You could define your positive y is down and g will be positive. You could define it up and g will be negative. So in this case, um, we, you know, typically we would just say that the y component direction is up and so acceleration in the y is negative g. When you do that, um, you the, the negative sign drops out here and so this just becomes positive. So they're exactly the same thing. Um, it's just you're substituting in a symbol and you, you will see a similar thing when we get to charges Coulomb's law for the force of attraction. Um, you sometimes we'll put in uh, for two forces that are charges that are attractive. We'll put in uh, a negative Q and a positive Q. So we'll show that the negative form of that means they're attractive, and the positive form means that they're repulsive. So that's all that that is. It's, it's essentially the same thing, and it's really um, conditional 
uh, based upon what, what you're defining as your positive y direction. But typically when we're working with numbers, not symbols, but numbers, um, I always like to just say that acceleration y is negative 9.8 uh, meters per second squared. And we just stick with that when we're working with the numbers. But if you're dealing with symbols, uh, sometimes this is more useful. Okay, sometimes this is more useful. So it just it really depends on what you're trying to uh, accomplish in the problem.